While making biscuits certainly isn't hard, there are a few steps to ensure you get really nice, light, and flaky biscuits. Now, I am Amy from A Red Spatula, and today I'm going to show you how to make einkorn biscuits. Einkorn, of course, is an ancient grain flour. It's really great for biscuit making. They still turn out really light and fluffy because it's a low gluten flour. It also is very simple to work with when it comes to biscuits. Now, as always, of course, don't forget to subscribe. You don't want to miss any of the new videos that are coming out. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so start to get by mixing together your dry ingredients. That's a set this aside. And then probably one of the most important things when it comes to making flaky biscuits is to ensure that your butter stays cold until it hits the oven. So you can see I'm using a pastry cutter and I cut mine, well, I'm not using a pastry cutter right now, but that's what I'm gonna use to blend it. I cut my butter into about one half inch pieces and then I'm gonna blend this into my dry ingredients with this pastry cutter. You can also use your hands, just make sure to work quickly because you don't want that butter to soften, as I said earlier. Add in your buttermilk, mix this with a fork, it's very easy to mix together. And then once that's done, you're gonna turn it out onto your surface. Now, not only will that melted butter create pockets in your dough that creates flakiness, but also I do a trifold method. So what that means is I basically do a trifold, like you just saw there, fold over one side into a third and then the other one. Then you're gonna press this out. I usually like my biscuits before they're baked to be about three quarters of an inch thick. You can do up to an inch thick if you want. And then at this point now, you can go ahead and cut them in whatever shape you want. I did circles, but obviously you could do squares, you could do rectangles. I, I like to do squares a lot of times because it's no waste, and I kind of like that. And then once they're cut, put them onto a parchment lined baking sheet. And then once you get to the end, you're gonna notice, especially when you cut circles like I did, that you have this leftover. Now, one key thing is you don't want to over mix your dough, but I do find that you can always cut one more set of biscuits out. So I really gently knead it together and then recut it. Don't try and knead it again, otherwise you're going to wind up with tough biscuits. And then once you're on, there on your baking sheet, you can brush these. You don't have to brush them with anything if you don't like, but I like to do it with just a little bit of butter or some of the leftover buttermilk or even heavy cream. And then they go into the hot oven. This is another trick. You want that oven to be like piping hot when they go in there. And that'll create that burst of heat and it'll make your biscuits rise and come out perfect. Here they are when they're done. These biscuits are so light and flaky. I promise you're gonna love them with your favorite soup, your meal, or even just for snacking on.